Wow, hey kids! It's JBC TV episode 6! <clears throat> if I could have everyone's attention, everyone's attention on me. Do I got it? Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final episode of JBC TV. I'm your host, Johnny Bonecrusher. Now, before any of you idiots out there think that this is the final episode forever, mm -hmm. fuck. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. The great fucking powerful laws have spoken. Anyway, to elaborate, this is the final episode before my illustrious, great, grandiose, awesome kick-ass debut in Championship Wrestling Federation. Well, I guess it's not really a debut, but it's more like a return, but a debut of Johnny Bone Crusher, out with the old shitty Zoot Suit Zombie gimmick and in with the uh, older but still time-tested and true gimmick of this guy! Once again, you can see I'm smoking. I like to smoke during these little uh, video fingers because, you know what, it pisses a lot of people off. Oh, and Jake Benson, I know you've been ignoring me, so in your face, bitch. Suck on that, SXE. The only three initials that matter in this world are JBC, and we all know that. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make this very long because I really don't want to. This is what's going to happen tomorrow. Joker's Wild. John Milker is coming. Yes, I mispronounced my own name. Great. Uh, and this is this is a fact. Not the fact that I mispronounced my name, but the fact that I'm coming. I'm coming. Everyone knows that. And everyone knows it's going to be awful, and they're going to prepare themselves as they see fit. Uh, which, according to most of these stupid fucking retards out there, having your little chit-chats, continuing to drink, the pain and sorrow away. I really love that, uh, what's going on between Levi and Angel. You know what? It just fills me with such joy when people so stupid like Levi Russo would get involved with a filthy whore like Angel. And I'm not saying she's a filthy whore in the same way that Acid is saying that she's a filthy whore. See, I'm going to use facts to back up my statement. Fact one, she screwed around with Acid. Acid within him lies the essence of hundreds of stupid fucking whores that have come and gone from the CWF. And you knew that. And you still screwed around with him. You still spread your pink cheeks for him. That's fucking gross, man. No, I'm serious. You better have checked yourself for some sort of disease. And Levi, I'm telling you right now, if you put your man meat in her hoo-ha, and you get a disease, don't come crying to me, because I'm not going to do anything about it. Like I can, because I'm not a doctor or anything. Anyway, let's get off this fucking subject. I want to touch base with the, the, the little promo that Acid cut in the stupid asylum. You know, the place that sucks. The, the place that's run by a complete retard who doesn't know who the hell I am. I'm oh, Johnny fucking Bone Crusher. I was there. And you tried to fuck with me because I was a legend. Kind of like how the WWE would do. Oh, does that really hurt? Does it hurt to be compared to the WWE? Well, don't act like the WWE. I don't even know who the fuck the owner's name is. JP, is it? Fuck. Is it Mofo Steve? Ah, oh, fuck. Who cares? Who the fuck cares? Screw. Screw you. Screw you, tough guy. Screw you, Asylum. Land of the fucking losers that the CWF didn't want. That's right. It screwed over my good buddy, Greg Whiteman. He had that match in the bag. And you gave the win to the Punisher? Okay, we all know, you know beyond kayfabe, we all know wrestling is a work, blah, blah, blah. We don't have to, you know, we don't have to, you know, uh, split hairs here or beat around the bush. You fucked him over. My good old buddy that I've known for many a year, longer than anyone in the CWF or the Asylum knew him. You know, truth be told, I'm the one that gave him his gimmick. I'm the one that said, you, you're a perfect Greg Whiteman. 
and your finishing move is going to be called the Weapons of Mass Destruction. And he said, you know what? God bless you, Johnny, because that's just what I'm going to be. And it was all uphill from there. You know, the steps might have been a bit too high at points, but he eventually got there, and you took it away from him. You know why you took it away from him? Because you're a hater. So you hate, 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 hate. You know, out with the old, in with the new, right? The Punisher, you know, he's he's an up-and-comer. He deserves it. He, he, just, he just worked so gosh darn hard for it, so shucky darn, I'm going to give it to him. Fuck you, you fucking asshole. And that's all i got to say about that. I know I was going to talk about acid, but I just don't give a fuck about him. Either way, a Joker's wild, I'm kicking acid's ass. He doesn't have to be there, but I'm going to do it. Moving along. Never mind, that didn't make any sense, you fuck. One way or the other, I'm going to be at Joker's Wild. I already said this, so let's move on to, from there. But what about afterwards? You fucking assholes aren't going to be able to ignore me. Mm -mm. Joker's Wild? I'm coming for blood. There's not a goddamn thing anyone can do about it. You know why? My name is Leonard Washington. Where I'm from, a little town called Nunya, goddamn business. That's right, the Dave Chappelle line, so clever and so in. I want you to smell that. Come on, smell that, Jake Bethan, smell that fucking shit. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, shit. You know what I'm going to do? The first thing I'm going to do when I see you, Jake Bitson, I'm going to take a cigar and I'm going to put it out on your fucking forehead. Then, I'm gonna, while you're screaming in pain and your mouth is wide open, I'm going to cram a bunch of cigars there and I'll force you to smoke them. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, you fucking pretend you straight-edge motherfucker. That's perfectly fine. You and the Punisher are going to be smoking something one way or the other. You better just hope it's a cigar. That's right. Anyway. After Joker's Wild, what's going to happen? Well, Johnny Bonecrusher is going to keep on doing what Johnny Bonecrusher got to do. You want to put me in a match? Fine, put me in a match. Whether I show up or not, that's none of your concern. I can do what I want. The contract's already signed. I already said, Psycho Luke. He gave me Acid's contract. Why do you think Acid's gone? Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Of course he wouldn't admit that Psycho Luke fired him. So the monies that Acid was getting from a CWF contract can be given to me. TNA did it. Why didn't they fire all those people so they could get in like the Kurt Angles and the Booker T's and the Christian Cages and the Rhinos and the and the and the Dudley Boys? Oh, 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 I mean Team 3D. Sorry, Ben, sorry. So I got the contract. I got the money. And Tori Lynn, one way or the other, I'm gonna whether it is the literal way or the figurative way. Because you and Psycho Luke don't give a shit about CWF. I'll take it over. What are you going to do? You're not going to come out and confirm. You're not going to come out face to face like a man. Tori Lynn's got more testicles than uh, Psycho Luke does. Psycho Luke doesn't have any, so I guess some is more than none. And whatever. Eight and a half minutes. So, I'm going to cut this. I'm just warning you. Not about Joker's Wild, not about anything like that, but just... You know what? I think Hulk Hogan said it best when he said, What you going to do when the largest arms in the world... When the largest arms in the world run wild on you? <laughs> hey, I can make fun of myself. I'm a juggalo, and I just don't give a fuck. Boys and girls, see ya at Joker's Wild!